Today we're going to focus on the Saracenia and the next stage is a dissection. It's better to use the scissors for the, the main dissection down here. So I'm now cutting through the, the first zone, the very slippery zone. And these traps have gone through a summer of flies. So as I open this up, it looks pretty disgusting. Okay, so I'm now going to take some of these parts of bodies. So I'm going to scoop up some of these. Ooh, they're quite large actually. And these plants have been growing outside in London, although they are from North America. Isn't that tricky? Yeah. It's now very dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually rehydrate the bodies. Should we do that? Yeah, good. Right. Right. Halfway up? Yeah, that would be great. And then we'll take some more. Sometimes when I've done this, we found um, a whole compound eye when we put them under the microscope and jointed legs. And if you have the time and the patience, you can actually start to key out some of the um, insects that have been trapped by the plant. Basically the plant uses the, um, the protein in the bodies to replace nitrogen that's not in the environment where they naturally live. And that's why these plants have adapted in this way. They, they've modified their leaves to make traps for insects because where, where they naturally occur um, the nitrogen is washed away and they need nitrogen as part of their, um, their growth cycle. Okay, what we're going to do now is we have a pipette and a test tube full of rehydrated bodies taken from the trap. Put a few of the bodies under the lens. The other thing you can do is if you have some Petri dishes is you can put the, the liquid with the bodies in a Petri dish. Ooh, that is so cool. Okay, so we have a couple of wings. We have a few legs. and some other body parts, and we have a really beautiful iridescent, quite large body part as well. So I think we're very much looking at flies. And actually, there's probably some even smaller organisms if we get a higher powered microscope. 